right, Hull Heads, welcome to the next edition of the Taco TACO, where we're talking all things ACO. I am Finn, your congenial host, as with me as always, Frank Gears, the Cornhole Dude, episode 103, for those of you keeping score at home. Welcome to episode 103. 103. And you know what's cool? Opening up episode 103 the way we have since we started the video, Taco, giving something away. we got lots to do, talk about Tupelo and so much more, but how about this? A set of tailgater bags, which will be coming up a little bit later on in the taco. But uh, how do you win these, and who won them? Well, let's talk about that, man. Jason Kennedy, right? Congratulations yep. to Jason Kennedy. Um, he wins a set of eight ACO tailgater bags. Again, if you're not familiar with the tailgater, a very uh, high-quality bag here. Durable for the backyard player. Jason, you get to start playing with these. A slick side, a stick side, really good product. Congratulations again, Jason, and the way you can get entered into these drawings. Yeah, absolutely. All you have to do is basically take this video, share, share it on your page, and tag the ACO. It's that simple. I mean, our first winner was Kenny Cordell. Congratulations to him. Again, I know he's enjoying I think he won one of the brand new ACO lids. Yep. Uh, no, he won a shirt. Oh, Actually, he won the, uh, yeah, one of the player jerseys. Yep, yep, I was cool. hanging out down with Kenny down in uh, Tupelo, Mississippi this weekend. Oh, yeah, awesome. So yeah. I got a pretty cool shot at Kenny there. And more about Tupelo coming up here in just a few. But, yeah, all you have to do, take this video, share it on your page, tag the ACO, and you are registered to win something really cool. So, again, congratulations, Jason, out of uh, Fulton, Mississippi. And uh, good for him. Plays regionals in Mississippi. He also plays in Tennessee. So now he's got some great new tailgater bags uh, to take with him wherever he goes. Love it. Love it. Awesome. And, uh, you know, as always, we talk about the uh, partners that we have when we are either out on the road or here doing the taco at the home office in the palatial estate that is the uh, ACO World Headquarters. Uh, thanks so much to, uh, and I get you right, finally got to see it manifested, some great pictures of of these awesome, I mean, these are kick-ass jerseys, these Red Roof jerseys. So thanks so much to Red Roof uh, for yeah. those. Thanks to Christopher and the jersey guy um, out of California. He helped get this kicked off for us. Uh, we um, we got the jerseys in time to hand out to the players. A lot of the players got the chance to actually wear those They're jerseys. They're really cool. And also get to stay for free nights down uh, in Tupelo, Mississippi at the red roof down there so i think it was really well received by our players and they were hot jerseys fan i gotta yeah. tell you there was there was good looking jerseys and from what i heard the the players really enjoyed the breathability and the, the wearability of these jerseys. So, again, thanks to the jersey guy for doing what he Well, did and if you look in the photo, I mean, there's lots of big smiles. I see Schaefer in there and a handful of other mugs in there wearing that nice new jersey and obviously very comfortable and also a great perk and a benefit to be able to stay at Red Roof as well, which is a great part of the partnership. One of the other partners for the ACO, as we've talked about for uh, quite some time, brings us into Walmart, and there's a great uh, Walmart sweepstakes that's been going on for a few more weeks, your chance to enter to win a $100 Walmart gift card how do you do that uh, well I'll tell you what all you have to do is go to Walmart take a picture of yourself in a Walmart store when you find the ACO product post it on your own personal Facebook page and tag the ACO like Mark Spiegs did Spiegel from um, Vegas there good good buddy good friend he actually got kind of a unique photograph there though yeah uh, this is uh, what we're gonna do is every week feature one of these uh, good photos from these Walmart players but I think he got us taken with, I believe, the Easter Bunny. So, oh, sure. um, of all things, in the Walmart store. <laughs> well, so it was an extra special. Uh, it's that time of year. That's very cool. So, and that's awesome because when you get out there, it's really just about sharing the love, as we've talked about, and a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card at Walmart. Like I said, that goes a long way towards uh, ACO products and then some when you are shopping Walmart. And of course, Top Golf. I'm very excited about this partnership. Uh, very cool because. It's going to kind of bookend the world championships, but I think there's so much more that can happen with Top Golf. And if you haven't had the chance, as we talked about a couple of episodes back, to get to a Top Golf near you or find one near you, make sure you try to get out and do that because it is really an awesome time. Yeah, and I think there's, I believe it's 52 locations. I think they have four more coming next year, possibly. So there might be 56 uh, by year end here, but. They're awesome places. They are all over the country. I believe we have one up here in Westchester, Ohio. So yep. been there a number of times, and uh, I've, I've, you know what? I've spent a lot of time 
and some awesome money. We we tried to play from the third deck, so I like to get as much arc on the ball as I can because I tend to hit what are referred to as worm burners. Yeah. You know when I'm out on the course, so if I can get up on that third deck and kind of launch it out there, it gives a little more arc than maybe my normal. Well, it's very similar to my cornhole pitch. To be yeah. honest with you, you know if you're doing these burners, you need to get involved with uh, Labelle because he's got the whole burner series thing going oh, down yeah. there. So you need to get one of his shirts or something <laughs> from Ryan Labelle there from South Carolina. <laughs> so yeah, top. Golf will be part of the opening and the closing of the Worlds in Vegas, too. And what a great facility. More coming on that as we work our way to Worlds 14 in Las Vegas. Something we're excited about here on the ACO, the video taco, is a brand new segment. And this is a way for you to, it's, I guess you could call it Taco TV, the ACO Digital taco Network. TV, I kind of like and, that. And um, we, something that we're going to introduce here and share with you a clip of the week. And this one, 10 years in the making, the 10 year anniversary of what is one of the coolest moments in the history of the ACO. This, I'll tell you what, Finn, this really was an amazing moment in the history of the ACO. Uh, it was an event that uh, helped Easter Seals in Cincinnati here. It was an event that was put on in Fountain Square. It was a special event where 16, of our, of, top, the city. Yep. 16 of our top players every year got to come down and compete for $10,000. It was free to those players. We invited those, hand-selected those players based on their, their ranking across the country. And this season that we're uh, showcasing here, Jack Staggy ended up winning it. And it was a significant tournament in the ACO history, again, a decade ago, that prior to that, Matt Guy had never lost in the five yeah. years that the ACO existed before that, had never lost a major ACO event at that point in time, had uh, won five world championships, and the world of Cornhole at that time did not believe that Matt Guy could even be beaten. <laughs> and Jack Staggy did what it did what it took to prove to the rest of the world that Matt Guy was human. They're hard to believe, but he is human and he did lose that game. Well and, and not unlike Tiger Woods who you know came back <clears throat> from a period of time where it was just like, will it ever be the same? You know we, and we'll get to the results here in Tupelo. I hope I didn't spoil anything for you, but just kind of, you know, we watched, we watched Matt kind of go through that over the last, you know, decade or sure. so. There was periods of times up and down, but never count out, uh, you know, anybody from Guy Nation. But for Jack, a very pivotal part of his life, a very, um, you know, it was an important time in his life. And so to celebrate that 10 years later and also in the video, as you saw, just, just great camaraderie, just real big ACO family stuff. The congratulations nature of his win. And I mean, I know it was heartbreaking for Matt, but man, what a big moment for Jack. It was. It was a big moment for Jack. It was a big moment for the ACO, and it was a, a pivotal point in the, the history of this organization. So again, hats off to Jack Staggy for that big win years ago and being a part of the ACO. Yeah, and you can find this and so many more clips and so much more history in the ACO Digital Network. Uh, that was the 2009 ACO Monster Energy Bash, yep. again on Fountain Square, center of the city, the heartbeat of Cincinnati. But uh, something very cool about the ACO Digital Network is that from this Friday, April 19th, until the world's, all videos will be free to watch and you don't have to have a subscription to watch those. So that's pretty cool. Yep. CS is making that uh, happen. And also, you'll find the ACO Digital Network, or as I mentioned before, uh, ACO TV, Cornhole TV, yep. whatever you like on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV. You can download the app from iTunes. Google Play on your mobile devices, or go to wearecornhole.com. Yep, exactly. Very excited to, to have that as part of the taco Great stuff. and be able to feature different videos. Uh, our product of the week, we, we, we've already shown it to you once. One, one, we got to show it again, though. Here it is. It is the tailgater bag. It is a two-sided bag, a canvas slick side, and a synthetic suede for the other side. Great set of bags. You can get these at AmericanCornhole.com. Again, congratulations to Jason Kennedy from Fulton, Mississippi, for winning the uh, – this week's uh, product of the week. Awesome, and uh, we got some great events coming up. And this don't forget to share us. Don't forget to share us. We oh yeah, 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 get yeah. Out yeah. there sharing us. If you want to win a product of the week, you got to be sharing the video, right? Absolutely. And uh, and and thank you, by the way, for those who have invested their time and in checking out the the video tacos. This has been a lot of fun to do. Normally, we just sit back and we drink a cold beverage, like I'm doing right now, which is uh, right now until <laughs> until somebody decides to pay for this spot. There you go. There is sponsorship opportunity right there. But, 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 but. <laughs> That's typically what we used to do. We used to sit in a room and just talk, and then I would edit it down, and we'd Bud send Weiser. it out, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, now now that you can see what we're doing, there's a lot more pressure. I have to make sure my makeup is right and everything. And if you have tuned in, uh, there's people out there like William Howe, um, Catherine Kennedy, Ryan Cat. LaBelle. 
I believe they're tuning into the show right now. They're out there able to answer questions for you. So if you're watching this show and have any questions, be sure to uh, fire them off. Yes, because God questions. knows I can't answer any of them, and he doesn't have time right now. Because da, 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 da. So some great upcoming events, not just future taco episodes, but the Grand Minnesota Championships. Looking forward to that. I am. I'm not looking forward to the drive. That's a 12-hour drive for me. In a couple oh, that's days all right. Get back up there. I just came back from Tupelo, but I am looking forward to getting up there. It's going to be a blast. Getting there is half the There's, fun. Uh, yeah, this time I'm taking my son Max up with me. Last time I brought my son, I brought him down to Tupelo, and he yeah. left me to go over to Ole Miss and party with his friends. Why? Uh, you know, I got to hang out. Well, at- fortunately, none of your kids go to Michigan State or anywhere else, so good for you. <laughs> no, so it is a big tournament, a great tournament. I'm so excited about this event because... It is going to be uh, featuring a lot of non-ACO players right now. A lot of players out of Wisconsin, Minnesota that haven't necessarily played with the ACO before. You know, we have 69 teams already signed up for the doubles. We have over 60, I think, players in the singles right now. Uh, we're giving away $3,000 in the singles tournament, $3,000 in a double tournament. Thanks again to uh, Grand Casino and Hinkley, uh, Minnesota there. So uh, that's awesome. a great one. And you know, like you said, open to anybody. And next week we'll get to cover some of the uh, conference and state championships too. But always good to kind of keep you up to date as to what's next. In case, maybe it's something you didn't really know was coming and it's going to be close to you. Why not get out and be a part of it? Another new segment. This is going to be an opportunity to uh, feature. And this is, this is part, I guess, I meant to mention when we started to the overarching theme of this particular episode of the video taco for me is jealousy because there was so much I was watching over the course of the weekend while I was here. Um, you had a way better weekend than I did. That's all I'm going to say. But man, I was jealous. I saw you guys partying at Steels and I'm like, nah, I want to be there. You know, I want to be there. It was a killer. T- I, I, lo- I wanted to go back to Tupelo just to go to Steels, right? Um, Steels died last bar. year was a great place. They've got uh, cornhole out back. They've got uh, live music. It feels like you're really at a vacation destination in some place in Florida or California on the beach or something like that because they have this incredible front end dive really bar that you walk into. Go out the back doors and it's an indoor outdoor deck area. A uh, bunch of signage. Uh, cornhole courts, like I said before, open area bar, uh, nice young waitresses walking around. So it's a good and time. And one really good old one. Be. <laughs> good place to be. <laughs> but she was very, very nice. <laughs> um, and then that's just one of the places to play around the country. And that's really one of the things, even on the uh, digital network, something that we try to highlight, places to play. Is it your place? Is it the place you go to? And if you want to get your uh, spot listed, your favorite spot for cornhole listed in the places to play. How do you go about that? Yeah, well, it's very simple. Send us an email to play at americancornhole.com or you can actually uh, do that on our uh, mobile app. So yep. we have a mobile app that's players.americancornhole.com where you can not only go out and find these cool places to go to, Finn, but you can also uh, submit an application to become one of those places to play. So if you're a place to play, Hook up with us either of those two ways. Send us an email at play at americancornhole.com or check it out on our mobile app at players.americancornhole.com. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it does double duty. It puts you in the running to be a place to play when we're running around the country, but also it's a chance for you to kind of go into the ACO Digital Network and go around to, to the website and, and showcase where it is that you play. And again, I, I like the idea that it's places to play out in public for the tournaments, but also that people get to brag a little bit about maybe some of the spots that they go to, which I think is fun. And there's fun. a lot of good places. Out yeah, there. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of good places to go, after the party was done, well, actually, while the party was going on at Steel's throughout the uh, entire event, some pretty uh, pretty great results out of Tupelo, and it all started with the blind draw. Blind draw was big, and uh, one of our top female players in the country uh, and one of our top certified officials happened to get, well, they're both certified officials. Um, got partnered together and uh, ended up uh, finishing in first place. Congratulations to Paula Stevens and Russell Tabers. Um, there was a young woman by the name of Alex uh, there. Uh, Alexis. Alexis, Alex, I was going to say, yeah. Alexis, see, I was telling you. I know, beforehand, we about went, Alexis. Alexis, we went over that because here's the thing. My daughter's name is Alexis, and we call her Alex. <laughs> and he I, he said, but she likes Alexis, and I knew damn well he was going to call you Alex, and that's my fault. Uh, and, <laughs> but she got uh, partnered with a, uh, a good cat, uh, Joe Joyce, um, yeah. who is a, is a great guy to party with. I hear he prefers Joseph. Uh, he likes, yeah, he does like Joseph. No, he goes by. 
by Joe, you but suck uh, at Joseph this. is high, <laughs> high end name. That's his player name, Joseph. And how about Jeffrey Wilson is a uh, party name? And Kyle Anderson. How about them? Uh, Good for them. Who cares there. about those? Oh come on! No, they're great. They're great cats. Kyle and uh, Jeff uh, have been traveling to a lot of events around the country, so enjoyed, and they finished in the in third place. But talking about some of the other matches, um, you know, in the seniors division and the women's division. And the singles division, we're we're coming down the home stretch. Loaded, baby. We're coming down the home stretch. This tournament was absolutely loaded with talent, and uh, we had in the women's division. Uh, congratulations to Karen. Karen yeah, Karen English. Um, you know what she, Karen did. Looks like she's at least put herself in a very good position to uh, possibly win Player of the Season. Uh, Mike Schaefer doing the same, same thing in the seniors division. And Matt Guy coming down here in the World Singles Division doing what he needed to do by winning his third major this season. So so some really good stuff there. Uh, Caleb uh, Hurt had come in here and a couple other players. Um, you know, Brandon Gregory was in town. Uh, EZ yeah. was here in town. Uh, TJ Miller was in town. So they're, you know, TJ Miller had just got done winning the, um, you know, major in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. Yeah. So a big win for him. But I mean, see, I'm not 100% sure, but he's lanky, correct? <laughs> yeah, he's our lanky man. I just wanted to make Thanks, sure. Man. And that's I exactly that, that term. I, I did right. get my thesaurus, so I'll be looking up some more some more big words. Right, like lanky. right where we got cut off last week <laughs> in the taco, we were discussing the use of the word lanky. So, TJ, uh, <laughs> congratulations, man. Nicely done. He was our player of the week last week. But, and uh, we got to wrap up doubles. Too, yeah, we got to wrap up doubles. But but back to the singles. There oh, was some, okay. some uh, great matches between uh, – there was a great game between Matt and Easy. Uh, Matt ended up winning that and advancing on. Uh, there was a great match between Brandon Gregory two times because Brandon Gregory got beat by EZ in the winner's bracket. And EZ, I just absolutely mowed over him 21 to nothing. Wow. Uh, but then come back, EZ and Brandon meet again. Uh, this time around, you know, Brandon pays pays back uh, dividends. Doesn't doesn't blow through EZ. It was a tight match. I believe right. it was like 21-17, 21-18. It was really close, I believe. But uh, but Brandon did come back and uh, got his revenge by finishing third in the tournament to Easy's fourth. But Sean Anderson, Sean Anderson has uh, not been able to play with us as much as uh, this season as uh, we had hoped. But he has been around and he has really turned into a phenomenal cornhole player. Finished second only to Matt in this tournament. And um, you know, hats off to to, to him for well, his and I remember you know meeting Sean and his entire family. It really is a family affair for those guys. A few years ago, I think we were in Knoxville, and I had a chance to talk to him and his whole family. And oh, they're they're a good family. So that's great. It's great to see their family part of the ACO family. And you know, when you're doubling up, how about we wrap up with the doubles? doubling up? We'll wrap it up, baby, because uh, it was a great final three. Uh, third place, we got the Hurts that came in from Virginia. Um, you know, Rex and Caleb uh, did very, very well. Uh, finished um, behind Keith Blair and Eric Zockline. Now, now Keith, um, Keith is not quite himself right now. He was in an accident at work, but oh, no. uh, he was playing pretty decent this weekend for sure. But I got to give it to Mr. Brian Jones and Mr. Sean Anderson because they repeated down there in Tupelo doing what they did last year. And this year's crowd was twice the size as last year, and the talent level was easily twice as good. So congratulations to Brian Jones and Sean Anderson and Keith Blair and EZ for putting on a hell of a, a championship match. Oh, that's great. And we're seeing, you know, like I said, the Hurt family, they're becoming one of those dynastic families in the ACO, which is great to see as well. Uh, speaking of, you know, players really stepping up and shining, you know, we mentioned Tiger earlier coming back, you know, and, and, and winning the Masters. And then you see Matt, as we talked about, Matt Guy. He, I, I honestly, he's the Tiger Woods, I think. Think you gotta say, don't you think of the ACO if you're going to make that comparison? Taking the singles and uh, his third major was that his third? That's his third the major. Third major this year, and uh, like I said, it puts him in the hunt to be player of the season. Uh, there's at least I think four other players or three other players. I believe again, it's Brandon Gregory, um, Eric Zockline, uh, Jeff, Jeff Link yeah. is already maxed out. So really, Jeff Link is the the one that Matt still has to catch because Jeff has maxed out his points on regionals and his points and majors. So right now, Jeff is in the driver's seat because the other players are catching him. So all Matt has to do now is finish first in a couple of regionals, the one here in April and the one in May. Uh, then he and Jeff will at least be the two, if not more. You know, you're also talking about uh, Caleb Hurt, who came all the way down there fighting to get his third you know, major win. 
So um, hopefully we might see him out there one more time trying to get that final point, that uh, that elusive final point. But the field, like I said, was just stacked yeah. down here. That is stacked. And, and, li- and like that guy, you probably read that story about the guy that put the bet down. I think he bet, I forget how much money on Tiger to win the Masters, end up winning $1.2 million. My money's on that guy. I think he's going to get in there, and he's going to be that guy there towards the end of the year for player of the season. Now, um, we like to celebrate uh, certified officials, and we have another new feature coming up here in just a moment. But how about Dustin Parker out of Georgia? Dustin Parker, he was there in Tupelo this weekend. Uh, Dustin played very well. Um, Actually, he got a great little photograph that he and uh, Austin did on the boards. I was cracking up with it. They shared it on Facebook and everything. It was kind of fun. They got down sexy on the boards. And and (laughs) Dustin Parker is just one sexy dude. You are, Dustin. (laughs) Um, no, it was. Uh, it we'll was. Go pretty, ahead and take your word for that. He uh, no, he's done a great job for us. He's taken ownership of not only uh, running great tournaments in Georgia for us uh, for several years now. Uh, he's taken ownership of the state championships this year. Uh, he helped when we were in Augusta, Georgia. Um, and actually, he's his hometown is kind of uh, Augusta or is Augusta, Georgia. Yep. So, um, so he was kind of he Grove got, Town area. He got right kind of out of Dodge while that event was yeah. going on this weekend that you're talking about. Well, if he was smart, Tiger. he rented his house for eight thousand dollars a night too while he was gone or his place absolutely but but parker he's 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 like what 59th in the the country right now in the ranking so he's a very solid player um is he and his partner um you know austin swan are like 15th i believe in the country yeah. and doubles um and he's just done a super job as a coordinator and a certified oh, official down there so uh eric's telling me my ear he's 56th in singles 56 that's, that's and singles would be exactly. That's what he's right. telling me from the truck. Okay, so either way. I need one of those air, uh, air you, pieces. Yeah, I, mean, you I, forgot, I, you I got left your, out of that equation. You didn't put that yours not, in. That's not in the budget right now. <laughs> right. Well, wait till you see the one I'm pointing at. It's exactly in the budget. Uh, and then how about this? So, celebrating the certified official each week, but also celebrating new certified officials. Because, as always, we encourage you to go to AmericanCornhole.com. If you'd like to be a certified official and find out how you can sort of spearhead in your area tournaments and all sorts of things you know uh an opportunity to make a little money you run these tournaments and have some fun and build your own family within the aco family three new certified officials to celebrate this week uh las cruces cornhole yields daniel gonzalez yeah that's a cool one because he's the first one we've ever had in new mexico in new mexico and then uh, aco of north georgia out of jasper georgia Kevin Odia, is it Odia? Am I getting that right, Kevin? Kevin Odia, and then uh, Missouri Cornhole out of Cape Girardeau. No Cape Girardeau very well. Terry Schnurbush. Nope. So, how about that? Three new certified officials. Welcome Since our board. last taco, man. Uh, that's pretty. That's it's pretty good great. stuff. And that it really is. I mean, this entire organization is built on the foundation of great certified officials managed here from the home office but you guys really go out there and get the work done and uh, salute hats off to you and welcome aboard to daniel kevin and terry always great to have more co's on board now this is the part where i'm gonna have to sit back because my ignorance precedes me this is the ask the aco portion of the program you can ask frank and finn most of my questions are going to have to be lifestyle questions yours will be about the specifics of the aco but here's a question i'm going to run this one by you frank how do the conference standings work to qualify for the main brackets at the worlds well so first thing is uh, there's 11 total conferences across the country but uh, with playing in the conference championships, how you can qualify for the Worlds. If you finish in the top eight in the singles, okay. it means you get to bypass the RPI tournament. So it means you go straight into the main bracket, which if you've ever been to the World Championships, you know how significant that is that and how bracket, important yeah. that is. And what we've tried, we did this last year, and we're doing it again this year, and what players need to come to understand is how significant and important that is to play in the conference championships and finish in that top eight because bypassing that is huge. Um, the other thing is it's a top four in doubles. They also get to bypass nice. and go okay. straight to the main tournament. Uh, only points count in the conference in uh, your um, majors and regionals played within that conference and you must live in that conference right so the regionals and the majors within that conference are all that count towards your conference standings as well as your conference championship helps to decide who those top eight are or who those top four are in the doubles now if we take all the players out of the corny 40 and all the players out of top gun 
and push them to the side, and we will go down to maybe player number nine and player number ten. So it advances down to, the, again, the top eight out of the conference, um, excluding any of the top 40 or, or corny 40. I don't know if that answers the question for you, Finn, or not, but I hope it does. What was the third thing? Uh, that I didn't have the answer to that I, hard thing. I, 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 not, not one bit of that made any sense to me, but I know people on the other end of that lens, it makes perfect sense. The important sense thing is this get out to a conference and championship. Get out and play and win. And try to be one of those top eight players That's in right. your conference or top I, four. Teams. I'm lucky because I get to see the culmination of all of this work uh, when I see you at the world. So that's what's fun for me. But uh, you guys know the nuts and bolts. And we do have an opportunity. You can go to the website anytime and ask a question. Could be featured here on an upcoming Taco episode. Because that's what we're here for, frankly, to let you know what's been going on, no pun intended, and what's going to be going on. And, you know, to incorporate you, make it interactive. And if you have any comments, anything you'd like to know, please feel free to bring it to, uh, to us again on the app. All of the standings, all of that stuff is there for you. Players. Uh, players.americancornhole.com. Okay. Check that out. And, again, don't forget to check out the digital network at wearecornhole.com. Lots of good stuff going on there. More and more content gets added to that every day. Thanks to C.S. Alexander and the team that he's got working with him now. Well, and speaking of the team, thanks to everybody that's helped making these majors happen. Uh, Eric, who's putting this whole thing together here behind the scenes, literally behind the scenes. If those were the scenes, he's right behind them. And we are out in front of them. Well, and, and you, you're talking about Eric. And I want to thank you, thank give a thank you to the whole team that yeah. put on this event here this weekend in Tupelo, Mississippi, right? Uh, we had Johnny Box, who was down there with his wife, Missy, that helped out. Um, we had Tori Smith, who was with Brian Jones. Brian Jones and her did a great job you know, working it. Uh, we had Tim Burnett, who came in from California and was part of the equation down there. Uh, Junior Williams, uh, Willie Webb, those guys uh, pitched in a hand. And there was a bunch of other people, if I forgot of somebody. Um, DD, our bartender, was awesome. <laughs> Brian Rucker. Um, Somehow I knew you would remember the bartender's name, if nothing Brian, else. Brian Rucker, the <laughs> CVB. Uh, thank you to uh, tu visit Tupelo, the Tupelo CVB. Uh, awesome. But the whole show ran great, great down in Tupelo. And you know, next up, um, you know, I can't wait to go to our next major. Oh, that's awesome. And that's what we're here for. We appreciate you being part of it. We'll do it as li live as often as we can, but we'll always be available for you. Video, you can archive it. You can go back. If your name got mentioned, you can go back there and clip that out. And uh, don't forget the tailgater bags. Those are the product of the week. Wrapping up another video edition of the Taco. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking us out. I am uh, the loudmouth for the ACO. As always, proud to be your host for the Taco. I'm Finn. He is Frank here, the Cornhole Dude. Keep on pitching. Ooh, I hope they have their 3D glasses on.